everyone. It is Tuesday and we're doing our foundations lesson from home. So to start, we will do the sound cards like always. So I will show it, you will say it at your house and continue. So. All right, very good. Now let's do, oh boy, let's do our vowel teams and our control vowels. So I will say it and then you repeat after me. So, O, Y, boy, oi. A, R, car, R. O, R, horn, or. U, R, burn, er. O I coin oi. O U trout ow. O U soup oo. A W saw aw. O O school oo. O O book o. Uh. I R bird er. A I bait a. E W chu u. O E to o. O A boat o. E A eat e. A U August a. O W snow o. O W plow ow. E R her er. E Y key E. U E rescue you. U E blue you. E E jeep E. And A Y play A. All right. Good job, everybody. Thank you so much. So, today. We are going to continue doing two syllable words and being able to identify the syllables and break the word apart by its syllables. So we are going to start with our word limit. So limit is spelled like this, L-I-M-I-T. And we have our two vowels. And yesterday we worked on breaking apart our syllable, our words, breaking apart the two consonants, two consonants, break those apart into vowel over here and vowel over there. But some of our words don't have two consonants together. We have a vowel, just one consonant, and then another vowel. 
So you're probably thinking, how would we break that apart? If there's only one consonant, we can't break our two consonants apart. We won't do that. We are going to break it apart. When we have words like that, we're going to take the first section, L, I, M, so consonant, vowel, consonant, and that's gonna be one syllable. And then the vowel consonant next to it is gonna be another syllable. So you're going to connect the consonant with the vowel and bring it to one side. So this is one syllable, this is another syllable. So we have our vowel here, our vowel here, our consonant in the middle, but we can't break apart two consonants. So we're gonna have this consonant stay with the first part. So lim it, lim it, one syllable, lim it, second syllable, limit, limit. Two syllables, one word. So if there's only one consonant in the middle of two vowels, the consonant is gonna go with the first half of the word. So lim, L-I-M, is the first syllable. Lim, it, is the second syllable. It, lim, it. Does that make sense? Do we see that? There's a vowel right here and a consonant in the first part of our syllable. This is one syllable, lim. This is another syllable, it. We took that consonant and chunked it with the first part of the syllable, the first syllable, lim, it. Okay, so now we'll sh I'll show you with the cards. So this is one syllable, lim, this is another syllable, it. Together, it makes the word limit. Limit. Lim, first syllable. It, second syllable. All together, limit. Okay? All right. So, now I'm going to rewrite that so I can mark it. So, we're going to mark it. Do you guys remember how we mark our two-syllable words? If not, that's okay. I'm gonna write, I'm gonna mark it for you. So our word is limit. So we're going to take our first syllable, L-I-M. Remember our consonant goes with the first part of it because there's not two consonants to break apart. There's only one. So it's gonna tag along with the first part. Lim, we're gonna take that, chunk that, close syllable, lim, eh, 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 short vowel. The M is um, blocking the short vowel and it closed it eh, eh, is a short vowel it blocking in the eye and there we have it that makes sense yes hopefully all right now we're gonna practice some you're gonna write some out so now at your house i need you to go get a piece of paper and a pencil or a notebook or whatever you have, a piece of paper and a pencil. <clears throat> I'll wait for you. You go do that. Okay, hopefully you have that. I'm gonna say some words and I want you at your house to repeat the word I say and then write it on your paper. We'll just do that first. So I'll say the word, you repeat it, and write it on your paper. So the first word is bathtub. She gets in the bathtub. She gets in the bathtub. So, hopefully you have that written down. Now I'm gonna ask, how many syllables is this word? How many syllables? Write it at the top of your paper, let's see. How many syllables? Write the uh, number on the top of your paper. Okay. So you should have bathtub written. Bathtub and a number two because there are two syllables in this word bathtub. One word, two syllables. So now I'm gonna have you separate our word into its two syllables. So what would be the first syllable? 
scoop the first syllable. Okay. Bath is our first syllable, bath. So we scooped our first syllable, now scoop the second one. Okay. All right, so you have bathtub because this is a two syllable word, bathtub. One word, two syllables, okay? Now I want you to write another word. So erase, or I guess, Go down to the next line on your paper. Okay, now I want you to write the word sunset. There was a beautiful sunset. And think of how many syllables is this word? One, two, three, four, five. How many syllables? Write that on the top of your paper or above the word. How many syllables is this word? Your word should look like this, sunset. You should have S-U-N-S-E-T with a two at the top because this is a two syllable word. One word, two syllables. Okay. Now I want you to scoop the first syllable. Scoop up the first syllable. Remember each syllable should have a vowel in it and we should break apart our consonants. Vowel, vowel, two consonants, break those apart. So scoop your first syllable and do your second one too. Do, do both, scoop your first and scoop your second. I'll give you a minute to figure that out. Okay, so you should have scooped sun and set. First syllable, second syllable. How do you know? because we have two consonants, N and S, two vowels, here's a vowel, here's a vowel. So we broke apart our consonants, have a vowel on this side, a vowel on that side, one syllable, sun, second syllable, set. Does this one have a vowel? Yep, U. Does that one have a vowel? Yep, E. And we broke it apart where? Between the N and the S, two um, consonants broke those apart. So your paper should look like that. Let's do one more. Let's do another one. Let's do the word cobweb. There's a lot of cobwebs in the basement. Cobweb. Okay, write how many syllables it is up at the top. And the word was cobweb. There's a cobweb in the basement. Okay, your word should look like this. C-O-B-W-E-B, -E cobweb. All right, now I want you to separate it into syllables. Separate. Scoop the first syllable and scoop the second syllable. Okay. All right, you should have scooped like this. Cob is our first syllable. Web is our second syllable. Is there a vowel in cob? Yes, there is, the O. Is there a vowel in web? Yes, there is, the E. We have two consonants that we split apart to make one syllable, two syllable, cobweb, okay? So now we're gonna mark this word, cobweb. So pretty much not, nothing changes except, we're gonna erase those, we're gonna scoop our syllables, and then we're gonna add a C and a C because why? What, what kind of syllable words are these? Closed syllable. Cobweb. 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 Mark, ah, mark your vowel. Mark your vowel. There we go. 
Simple, easy. Oops. Okay. Now we're going to do a little bit of dictations. I'm going to dictate a couple words for you. So let's do some sounds. We haven't done sounds in a while. So why don't we, you write on your paper, what makes the d, d sound? What makes the d sound? You should have written d. Okay. Now, what makes the am sound? Am. Am. Very good. Now, let's do what makes the unk sound unk unk very good all right now let's do some trick words let's do our trick word number we haven't done that one in a while number number been a while since we did that one. Number. All right. Your number or your word should say N U M B E R. Number. Okay. Now let's do the word another. 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 The word was another. It's a trick word. All right. Your board should say another. A N O T H E R. All right. Let's do one more trick word. Let's do the word about. 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 All right. Oops, your board should say A B O U T, about. Okie doke. Now we'll just do a couple more. This has been a long one, so we'll just do a couple more words. I want you to write the word. Um, sunfish. 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 So if you're thinking, ugh, I don't know how to spell that, you can break it into syllables. Figure out what the first syllable is. Sunfish. You can do that part, and then you can figure out the second part. And then remember, one word, two syllables. So if you can figure out the two syllables, you got your word. The word was sunfish. All right. S-U-N-F-I-S-H, sunfish. All right, one more, let's do. Um, let's do laptop. Miss Adams has a laptop. You probably have a laptop. You might be watching it on a laptop. Write the word laptop. Again, if you can't figure out the word, you can break it into its syllables. This is a two syllable word. What's the first syllable? What's the second syllable? Two syllables, one word. The word was laptop. Miss Adams has her laptop open. Okay. Your word should say laptop, L-A-P-T-O-P. -P. Laptop, two syllables, one word. All right, this was a very long lesson. Thank you all so much for sitting here with me and doing this. I love teaching you guys and I love that you're watching these. On the weekly planner, there's another video that you can watch and it's about two syllable words again. So go watch that. And like I said yesterday, and we'll do this again tomorrow. So if you're having some problems, 
We'll do it again tomorrow. If you need any help, you can email me. This is some tricky stuff, but I think we're getting there. So good job today. I will see you tomorrow. Watch that video. And that's all I got for you. I will see you tomorrow. Goodbye, everybody.